Moving on to the operating system. Main objective today is to be able to understand what the operating system is, be able to explain some of its key features, and hopefully be able to identify some examples of different operating systems. Now, as I said in the previous video, system software is software that is needed to maintain and operate hardware. We're gonna be focusing mainly on the operating system in this video. The operating system could be seen as one of the most important system softwares. It acts as the interface between a user and the hardware. It provides a user interface to make the computer more user-friendly. Some examples of operating systems include Windows 10 and OS X. An open source operating system example is Ubuntu and some mobile platforms include Android and iOS. As I said in the previous video, the operating system manages hardware and runs software. It communicates with peripheral devices using something called device drivers. It provides a platform for applications to run on, controls the memory on the computer, organizes the CPU and manages security. We're gonna go into these points in a bit more detail in this video. In a bit more detail now, the operating system is in charge of connecting peripheral devices. It does this through little programs called device drivers. The device drivers essentially translate the language of the peripheral device into something that the computer understands. Um, without it, the computer is not going to be able to communicate with the peripheral device itself, which means that you just won't be able to use that device. The operating system also provides a platform for applications to run on. This just means that it provides a specific environment for certain softwares to actually work and run. When we're talking about memory management, we're talking about how the actual operating system manages the computer's RAM. It essentially allocates certain amounts of RAM to specific operations or applications um, running on the computer. File and disk management is also a key factor on the purpose of an operating system. The operating system gives you a file structure or a system of basically moving, editing, deleting and creating files. It provides you with a facility to actually interpret different file extensions and it also gives you the ability to create hard disk partitions. The CPU is also managed by the operating system. The operating system essentially just tells the CPU the order in which tasks need to be processed. Finally, we're going to be looking at how the operating system manages security. The operating system provides user controlled accounts, meaning specific users will be able to access specific sections of a computer. It provides username and password facilities, meaning again, only authorized users will be able to access the computer. The operating system also provides administrator privileges, meaning different levels of access can be given to different levels of users. The operating system also provides a really basic antivirus software and a really basic firewall.